Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different kind of video for you guys. So in my recent video, I did just mention that I have an opportunity to live rent and free. If you want to see the video, it's only a five minute video. It will be in my description box. But I'm going to tell you how I plan on saving $20,000 in a year for a down payment on a house. So this is going to be like my game plan. You might not agree how I do this, but um, this is how I plan on doing it. Um, so let me tell you guys how I plan on doing it. Okay. So typically I get paid and if you hear anything in the background, I apologize. Typically I get paid around $15.50, but that's after taxes. It's like $15.56. But I did just get a raise, and I'm not sure how much it will be exactly until this Friday. Um, but for right now, it's fifteen fifty, and then we're gonna times that times two. If I could find my calculator, fifteen fifty times two equals three thousand. And I'm sorry, it's slanted, but that's just how I write. So it's going to be $3,100 and it's going to be a little bit more because I just did get a raise and it's not like on the dot but this is what it's going to look like when I do my budget because I do plan on leaving some money in my savings just as a buffer. Okay, so typically I spend $50 on eating out a week so we're going to times that times Four, so it's gonna be 200 so then we'll put 200 for eating out 200 for miscellaneous because I put 50 as well each week I put 130 for gas every two weeks so whoops that's gonna be 260 so 260 for gas every two weeks and groceries usually i take some for home and for my work i put 130 um for two weeks and i know it's going to vary um but we'll just still put the same number because i know i have like my stepmom and my dad bringing groceries to the house okay so we're gonna add all that up sorry for that messy handwriting so 200 plus 200 plus 260 plus 260. And I usually get rollover from gas, usually all the time. And that's gonna be $920. So we'll put 920. And then we're gonna subtract the 3,100 that I get each month and then subtract the 920 and then for all of my bills added in the month it's 306 dollars not including rent obviously so 3100 minus 920 minus 306 equals 1874 so what I plan on doing is putting away 1200 each month into my savings. So we're gonna subtract that. And that leaves me with 674 for my sinking funds for the whole month. So since I put two paychecks here, I'm going to divide this number by two. So that equals 337 dollars and what I plan on doing I'm gonna show you guys what I plan on doing throughout a year of my sinking funds it is gonna be pretty strict but I feel like I'm gonna be okay because this is more than what I typically put in my sinking funds I usually put like two something I mean you guys will see the numbers right now when I show you so if this were to be every week strictly I would be putting five dollars for beauty and then clothing, I usually put $10. For fun, I'm gonna put more every 
week or every two weeks so it's gonna be 30 because I would hardly put anything for fun then for gifts I'm gonna put 15 for me I'm gonna put 15 as well and then this budget is gonna start after it's gonna start in November so then 15 for me and then vacation to build something up after well I go to vacation that month then I should have a good amount but in case I go somewhere later on and I'm doing the strict budget I'm gonna want to like have money you know um, 24 vacation Bella's gonna get nine she turned 10 in um, March so it'll be a dollar more not a big deal and then a car is gonna get 30 which is more than I usually put same with emergency I've been putting $20 for every two weeks but now I'm gonna put 30 future house is gonna get the same thing it's gonna get 50 and then I haven't really been stepping future so I'm gonna put $20 every um, two weeks and then let me move it up because I don't want to get off camera and then Lola just turned four medical is going to get 20 and then for my family they're each going to get $15 this is for their birthdays and for Christmas and anything left over for Christmas this year is going to roll over for their birthday And then with 337, I could only put four dollars for my boyfriend. But because I'm not including my new um, what do you call it? My new income, because I did get a raise, I'm I am able to put more for him. I just don't know the numbers yet, but this is what it is if I were divided by two by using three thousand one hundred dollars. So then we're gonna subtract everything all up. Well, actually, no, because it's the same number as this. Okay, so my skiing funds is typically going to get three. Sorry, you guys, my handwriting is bad. So, 337. Okay, so then if I plan on putting $1,200 every month towards my savings for a house, so we're going to times that times 12, it's going to have 14400 by the end of the year or in a whole year. And then that's not including my side income. So right now, so right now I've seen on my app of when I get paid, I've made a little bit over 6,000 this year. And it's not even the end of the year yet. I have like four months left. So let's just put 6,000 and I already have 20,400. But since I'm still gonna be putting $50 for my house, that is going to equal to, wait, let me write it down before I forget the number. So we're going to times 50. That's what I put each paycheck. So it's going to be 100 times 12 in a year. That's another 1,200 plus that 20,400. And then that's already 21,600 and not including any rollover that I do plan on putting on here as well and you guys might think like this is like too much or like too strict or what if something happens but I do have money in my account still for my emergency I'm doing the save 2023 in the year 2023 and then I still have money for my sinking funds yeah sorry my lights are off of course but as I was saying, I still have money from my sinking funds that I'm still putting towards my emergency as well. Um, so yeah, that's how I plan on saving 20000 in one year. And let's see how it goes. I do want to make some kind of tracker um, to show you guys how I'm doing along the way. And I was thinking of starting from January to December. But since I plan on moving in November... We could start there and see where I am in November of 2024. 
but yeah I hope I'm able to do it like this and you know and there's no hiccups along the way I feel like I'm gonna be okay um, because if anything if I go over something I do have my $50 of my miscellaneous if I want to buy something and I don't have enough for my clothing I have money from spending you know so I'm able to move around my money but if I stick to this budget I feel like I should be okay and I'm very excited for this journey my sister just bought her house a couple months ago and it's just really motivating for me because she just turned 23 yesterday um, but yeah that is it for this video if you guys liked it please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye